For as long as we've contemplated the possibility for alien life, we've searched for signs of it showing up on planet Earth. And historically, there have been plenty of contenders whenever something weird or unusual is discovered. With anything that looks or behaves in any way that's unexpected, there's often at least one suggestion that it might be extraterrestrial. Like a machine that we can't get to work, a message that we just can't decipher, or an object that appears to have alternate physical properties. So this is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, is this steel ball a piece of alien technology? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one, and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. The Betts Mystery Sphere has a rather unassuming history, but nevertheless, it's remained at the center of a bizarre alien conspiracy theory for decades. The sphere, which measures at 8 inches across and weighs 22 pounds, first came to light in the mid-1970s, when a Florida family, the Betts family, discovered it close to where they lived. Intrigued by the object, they're said to have taken it home and put it on display. But then the metal sphere started behaving strangely, and apparently moving of its own accord so that the family reportedly had to lock it away in a box. The sphere suddenly starts to come alive. It starts making humming sounds, and it seems to be responding to particular notes played by the guitar. Now, the most prominent explanation for the Bet Sphere's movements is that the ball was simply responding to uneven flooring in the Betts family home. It was found to be near perfectly weighted so that even the smallest deviation might have caused it to roll. However, because the sphere also seemed to respond to music, i.e. it moved more energetically whenever music was played, there have always been those that believe that the ball was in some way responding to its surroundings, that it could hear the music and it was reacting to it. As to the origins of the mystery sphere, one often cited explanation is that it had once belonged to an artist who had driven through the area a few years beforehand and along the journey the ball, which was around the size of a bowling ball, may well have fallen from his vehicle. Meanwhile, various local engineering firms at the time went on record to say that they found nothing extraordinary about the ball, that it was likely man-made on Earth and was simply a lost part of some machine. But again, not everyone was buying that, and the rumor of an extraterrestrial drop-off, either deliberately or accidentally, has never quite disappeared. The Betts Mystery Sphere was investigated by various government figures and authorities at the time as well, including the U.S. Navy and the noted ufologist J. Allen Hynek, most famous for creating a scale to rank alien close encounter stories. Although some aspects of the sphere remained unexplained, there were no official suggestions from the Navy, Hynek, or anyone else that the ball was anything other than from Earth and man-made. But still, the Betts family themselves maintain that there was something else about the sphere, something that investigators were missing, but that they, the finders, felt to be true. At one stage, at the height of the interest around the sphere, there was even some reports claiming that it could be a weapon of some kind. Dormant, but dangerous. Of course, while all indications are that it isn't alien in nature and that it is simply a piece of remarkably well-rounded metal found out of context, we can easily speculate about what the sphere might have been if it were alien tech. A weapon, maybe? But as no one has ever been hurt by it, perhaps a surveillance device instead? or an alien computer designed to gather information and beam back to its masters, like a smart speaker to the modern world, but sent from the skies in the 1970s. In all events, the Betts Mystery Sphere was deemed to be safe, and so, as far as we know, it probably isn't alien technology. The Betts Sphere is by no means a one-off, however. There have emerged many similar objects, especially over the 20th century, around which similar interest has grown. Extraterrestrial theories abound around ancient artifacts like the Baghdad Battery and the Antikythera Mechanism, for example, despite conventional research continually concluding that they can have originated out of plain old human civilization, and both around 2,000 years ago. With the Baghdad Battery, researchers usually lean toward it being an unusual storage device, and with the Antikythera Mechanism, it's most widely held to be an ancient Greek timekeeping device, perhaps to measure the movements of the stars. Again, while there are parts of the story for both objects that remain unexplained, there's a general consensus that they shouldn't dramatically change how we view life on Earth. But not everything that's been called into question is quite so substantial and complete as either the Bet Sphere, the Baghdad Battery, or the Antikythera Mechanism. And perhaps no single object has garnered quite as much alternate attention as the super-heavy element, Element 115. While it has become a science fiction staple, featuring in films, TV shows, and video games, Element 115 does exist in the real world, too, on the real periodic table. There, it's known as Moscovium, 
It's man-made, and it's described as super heavy because there are 115 protons per atom. That's far beyond anything that naturally occurs on Earth, which already makes Moscovium unusual. But what adds to the story is that element 115 had been debated long before it was finally added to the periodic table in the 2010s. Various popular UFO claimants and theorists, including Bob Lazar and Jeremy Corbell, have spoken of it, with suggestions that it could be dangerous. In general, there are claims that element 115 could be used to mess with gravity and even to power alien spaceships. But while we have created Moscovium here on Earth, it decays so rapidly that we've never really been able to do anything with it. According to Bob Lazar, however, the experiments being carried out now are only just catching up with the top-secret government work he alleges he was part of in the 1980s. Among other things, Lazar claims to have worked with a stable, non-decaying version of Element 115 decades ago, running deeply classified tests at the infamous Area 51. It's said that back then, what we know now as Muscovium was seen more generally as an exotic alien material. An extraterrestrial technology to separate us from the more advanced species of the universe. It has then featured at the heart of many an alternate theory ever since, about our search for aliens and whether we've in fact already found them. While there are no direct links between the Betts Mystery Sphere, artifacts like the Baghdad Battery and the Antikythera Mechanism, or the ever-mysterious Element 115, we can perhaps see a progression in recent years. Mainstream science and the conventional line have provided an explanation for all of them, despite the UFO noise that they continue to generate. With the Betts Sphere, it's thought to be just a piece of man-made machinery found out of context in the Floridian countryside. With the Antikythera mechanism, it's thought to be essentially an analog computer, yes, but not out of place in history, either. And with Element 115, science has caught up to such a degree that we're now actually producing the stuff ourselves, although not yet at a level to match what Lazar claims that he worked with previously. Naturally, everyone has an opinion on these things, so what's yours? Let us know in the comments which, if any, of the mentioned examples strike a chord with you, as though there really could be something alien about them. Have you yourself discovered a strange object and wondered what its origins might be? Or do you believe that everything on Earth, no matter how unusual they may seem, can be explained without the suggestion of extraterrestrials? There's no doubt that from time to time an artifact or a material can emerge and threaten to destabilize everything we thought we knew about our planet and our history. And when matched with our growing knowledge of space and the universe, and the increasing belief all over that alien life must exist somewhere. It's perhaps unsurprising that there are so many examples of unknown discovery being labeled as alien in nature. But still, in the case of the Betts Mystery Sphere at least, an enigmatic orb that could seemingly respond to its environment, it appears far more likely that there was no ET involvement. And that's why this steel ball probably isn't a piece of alien technology. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.